All right, this is our first gear review. I decided to do a review on Gazelle T3 tent. Uh, I'm up here in, at our hunt camp in this beautiful North Carolina day. It's about 50 degrees, real windy. Uh, usually when I come up here, I like to stay in my own tent. Uh, I used to have a camper, got rid of it, so did a lot of research trying to find a tent that I can stand in and uh, after doing a lot of research I decided to go with Gazelle T3 tent uh, just kind of walk around show you what it looks like when it's set up it's a hub tent it sets up really easy comes in a big bag I think whole thing weights 28 pounds in the bag um, one person can set it up in less than five minutes that's including putting the rain fly on and staking it in the ground it has windows on all sides uh, sides with no doors have two windows on each side and sides with doors have one in the window on each side so a total of six windows and two doors one on each side. Uh, like I just said, tents, it's not compact. It's one of those tents you're gonna put in the car and take it. It weighs 28 pounds. Uh, inside height is 68 inches. It's not quite tall enough or high enough for, for you to stand in, at least for me. Uh, but it's a lot better than some of the other tents. At least you can stand up and uh, dress. Uh, dimensions of the floor are 76 inches by 82 inches it's supposed to be enough for three people uh, but probably too comfortably I stay in it by myself and it's plenty of room I put a cot in and table and gives me enough room for all of my stuff uh, spent two nights in it spent not one night before so a total of three nights in it so far uh, it rained on it real hard last night it kept me dry it didn't leak um, some of the pros of the tent at least for me it's a easy setup quick setup uh, one person can do it has plenty of room uh, the and just show you some inside so also it has this uh, bug screen doors on both sides and all of the windows have those as well this is the inside of the tent once it's set up uh, like I said there's plenty of room plenty of room to stand in uh, one downside that I didn't like about this tent the top part of the tent uh, the roof is made just of the bug screen and then when you put a rain fly over it it covers it but still not part of the roof there's still uh, enough space between rain fly and the screen for wind to come in so if you can see so at night time if the wind is strong you actually feel the wind coming in so it's not it's definitely not four season tents it's not even for for really windy day when it's cold you're gonna feel a lot of that cold inside uh, it does heat up real quick I have the, the buddy propane heater uh, I'll turn it on probably five minutes tops and get so hot in there you can't stand being in there you have to turn it off but one thing I, I would change in the, this tent design I would uh, put a, a full or, or top part of it I would make it full look uh, material like rest of the tent instead of that bug screen or at least make it if you want to if they want to put the bug screen they could have put the bug screen and the regular material over it kind of where it would zip up like door so overall it's a uh, not bad tent it's kind of pricey I think I paid 350 bucks for it uh, I got it from REI uh, I bought a couple of months ago. I just recently noticed that uh, a lot of places now have them on sale for $2.99. So if anybody's in a uh, market for a new tent, they'll fit definitely two people com comfortably, easy setup. I would I would recommend it. 
so I guess uh, that's it for my first review like I say this is a new thing and uh, I gotta figure this thing out how it goes on YouTube and all that so